Several years ago, I drove my red Cadillac across the country in search of unusual monuments, landmarks, museums, roadside attractions, places that celebrate the uniqueness of the experience Americana. One stop was Albuquerque, New Mexico, at the National Atomic Museum, a museum celebrating our extraordinary ability to blow up stuff. The most popular exhibit at the National Atomic Museum is, of course, Fat Man and Little Boy, which were the two bombs that were detonated over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When people leave here, we'd like them to take away a feeling that they, they have a sense of uh, what nuclear energy is all about. Atomic power, atomic power, it was given by the mighty hand of God. Further on down the road, I stopped by the Nevada nuclear testing site and paid a visit to Doomtown, a place constructed to measure the effects of atomic weapons on animals, mannequins, buildings, and bridges. If war is hell, then this is the devil's calling card. It's what's left of a railroad trestle after a small nuclear bomb went off about a half a mile from here. This experiment was part of our nuclear weapons testing program run in the Nevada desert in the 1950s. I started thinking about my trip to the Nevada test site after reading about Japan's nuclear refugees in the December issue of National Geographic magazine. It's a look at the no-go zone around the damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant. There are pictures of still empty streets, bedrooms, and classrooms. On my radio show this weekend, I talked to Lucy Kraft, who wrote the article. She describes how former residents are given protective clothing and then escorted back to retrieve a few small personal items. Her interview also reminded me of my visit to the crater in Nevada, where the United States used a nuclear explosion to test the concept of digging a new Panama Canal with bombs. Nukes for peace. It was called Operation Plowshare. One problem, that pesky, peaceful radiation. Tune in to National Geographic Weekend this week to hear Lucy's interview about Japan and my story of the Nevada test site.